Hello the internet, Matthew here, coming to you from the beautiful Target Rock Wildlife Refuge and Preserve. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Lloyd Harbor as I stand in front of the ruins of a colonial era lighthouse to bring you another fantastic vlog. I want to thank you for tuning in and of course carry right along from the last piece. Today we're going to talk about why you must upgrade your peer group. In my last vlog series, Fresh Brain Droppings, I talked about how we will learn from and become like the people that we're surrounded by as we grow up, which is typically not something we have a lot of control over when we're kids. However, we also learn from and can become like the people that we're surrounded by as adults, which is something that we often have a much greater control over to one degree or another. Now this is important because when it comes to being successful, ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance of how to go about being successful can often lead to misplaced feelings of inadequacy, anger, and envy directed towards those who have the success that we ourselves want. This can put a downward spin on our perceptions, pulling our viewpoint towards the negative, away from reality, and keeping it there. Who we learn from plays a large part in how successful we can actually be. In that London Real interview that I've mentioned, and in many of the others that he's been featured in, Peter Sage talked about the law of conformity, which is a point that's been repeated by many other successful people. To explain exactly what it is, Peter uses a very simple illustration. If you're surrounded by nine people who smoke weed, play video games, and eat ice cream all day, you will become the tenth. However, if you surround yourself by nine people who are driven, active, and healthy, you will become the tenth. This has nothing to do with being either strong or weak-minded. It's simply the nature of human nature. It's the kind of creatures that we are. The trick of the trick that I alluded to in my last vlog is simply this. In order to train your brain to create luck, you must upgrade your peer group. And this is so crucial that Peter actually did a free three-part video series on YouTube, which I, of course, link down in the description below. And because in that series he covered so well exactly how to go about doing this, right now I want to focus on the why. For longer than I care to admit, in my life I did a lot of blaming. And I was surrounded by people who reassured me that this was the right course of action. What's more, I've seen what happens with my own eyes when a member of a group of lazy and unfocused people starts to work at becoming more successful instead of conforming to the rest of the group's lazy standards. A separation occurs. Sometimes the errant member removes themselves by way of the activities that they become engaged in. And sometimes there's a more disruptive incident that leads to their banishment. However, I've also seen what happens when a member of a tribe starts to get wind of a new perspective and looks towards the horizon with hope, their eyes get pulled back down to the dirt by the rest of the group. For example, when I was in my early 20s, I was a merchandiser for Nabisco. One night, I was at a store by myself and there was a bunch of execs for Boar's Head over at the deli counter a few yards away. At one point, one of the suits came over, a man in his mid-30s, and asked me what it was like working for Nabisco. Well, I didn't like my job, so the arrogant little punk that I was just stood there and complained for two or three minutes. The man patiently listened and then thoughtfully nodded. And then he said to me, I can tell you're frustrated. And you know, that's, that's fine. However, you shouldn't let that cut off your opportunities. I see you working hard over here. And despite the fact that you tell me you don't like your job, you seem to be actually pretty good at it. Now for all you know, I was walking over here to offer you a better position with my company. I sure as hell won't do that now, not with the attitude you've got, but I hope you keep this lesson with you. I was stunned. And yeah, 15 years ago that happened, and I've kept it with me ever since. However, something interesting followed. Over the next few days, I told a bunch of my friends exactly what had transpired. And they pretty much all responded the exact same way. He's a douchebag, screw that prick, what does he know? And it wasn't long before what could have been the catalyst to my own personal development was enveloped in blackness of blame and envy. Now, I'm not passing the buck for my own personal life choices onto my associates, 
but I bring this up so you can understand the position I was in at the time, having known no other way than to believe that dumb luck was the only factor in success, and then to be reassured by those around me that that was the correct viewpoint. In the past, I didn't know what I didn't know. So like everyone else around me, I was prone to anger, frustration, blame sharing. It's like watching news that's constantly negative it shifts your worldview towards the negative. Being around people that echo the same level of ignorance and frustration can serve to keep you in that viewpoint in perpetuity. Eventually though, I did discover that there's so much about the world that I didn't know, which then increased my curiosity and fed into my childlike joy and enthusiasm for learning, which then fed my success, which then fed my joy which then increased my desire to learn more, and on and on it went. The more I learned, the more I wanted to learn, and the more I found I could gain from it. And as addicting as that process can really be, it cannot begin without humility. Your assignment for this week is to go down to the description and watch the three videos by Peter Sage on how to upgrade your peer group. That's it. Just listen to them. If you want to come back to this video and leave a comment with your thoughts, I'm sure we could all benefit from your insight. I'll be back next week with another vlog and another assignment. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. You can follow on Instagram as well. And now you can follow me on Twitter also. As always, all the links to all the relevant material will be down in the description. And if you've gotten something out of this video, please make sure you share it with others. For now, this is Matthew of Monster Health and Fitness signing off. I'm reminding you that there is no portal to utopia. We're going to have to take the long way around.